Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Retro City TV. In this video, we will see how far Facebook's research team has come up with technology in augmented reality and how this technology would end up in your homes just like smartphones. So, stay tuned. Like and subscribe to our channel so you can catch new videos every week. It all started in 2014 when Facebook acquired Oculus VR Inc. Oculus was the leader in immersive virtual reality technology and had already built a strong interest among developers. The deal was worth around $2 billion distributed among cash and shares of Facebook's company stock. Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Facebook said, Mobile is platform of today and now we are also getting ready for platforms of tomorrow. Oculus has the chance to create the most social platform ever and change the way we work, play and communicate. Now, Facebook had the necessary hardware and patents to create smart glasses and VR handsets, but the platform struggled with user input. As we can use our thumbs to input our touch in mobile devices, in smart glasses and VR spaces, we had to use bulky controllers, which sours the whole of our experience. So, Facebook acquired CTRL Labs for a billion dollars, according to Bloomberg reports, a startup with an aim to make wristband capable of transmitting electrical signals from brain into computer input. The band uses electromyography or EMG for sure to translate subtle neural signals into actions like typing, swiping, or playing games like Archery Simulator. The band also offers haptic feedback, creating a system that's more responsive than basing hand tracking options. Recently, Facebook has given us a glimpse of inside its plans for new augmented reality interface. This interface will not only augment reality with visual tools, it will also augment our actions in real life, as all interactions will be recorded, analyzed and improved upon by neural wristband. To put it bluntly, the brain and neural wristband will create a common ground on some of these neural signals that are coming from the motor cortex, a part of the brain which is responsible for movements of our muscles and our limbs in order to input data directly into augmented and virtual reality interface. This approach bypasses the need of low bandwidth peripherals such as keyboard, mouse and touch screens and input large quantities of neural data directly into the onboard computer. All this data can then be filtered in all sorts of actions and gestures that can be customized and delivered via software update on device itself. Elon Musk's Neuralink also uses the neural data from Bain's motor cortex to provide ability to control certain devices. However, Neuralink plans to push the boundaries even further by connecting much more than just the motor cortex. As Neuralink is an implant-based technology, it might take some time to completely mature. In the meantime, Facebook's natural wristband along with smart glasses could provide a meaningful platform to interact with both computers and people similar to our smartphones, but in much more interwoven into our lives. Do you think smart glasses and your wristband could be Facebook's iPhone movement? Let us know in the comments below. We will love to know your input. Sub to our channel so we can bring new content to you. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.